the, if not one of the, if not the finest sounding. Of course, that has a lot to do with him playing it as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'll let him talk a little bit about it if he wants to and tell the story of it and stuff. And then Patrick's going to play the 1935 D28. Uh, there's very few herringbone D28s made. The early years were some of the best. This 35 has been played by a lot of professional players, and many of them have thought this is one of the, if not the finest sounding Martin D28 out there. So on stage now with these two guys, I hate to have just limit them to one song with these two, but we have probably the finest sounding Martin D28 from 1935, Brazilian Rosewood Sides and Back, Red Spruce Top. Very convincingly painted. Yeah. <laughs> no grain painting on this one. And then John's uh, 24, Lloyd Lohr F5. Yeah, this, this, this man would have had for a long time. And right after I bought it, I uh, replaced the fingerboard because the original one, um, the notes or the frets were not quite true all the way up the neck. And I had been used to a pretty radius fingerboard, so I, I went ahead and took advantage of that, um, those circumstances to swap it out so I could play something that was more comfortable or what I was more used to. So I think it may have um, a little bit to do with the kind of unique character of this because the board is a little thicker so it makes more a bit more massive neck but that's just a theory <laughs> 